Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube universe, what is going on with you on this Saturday morning? It is Saturday, May 25th, 2024, roughly 9.50 a.m. California time. I am, of course, your always gracious host, Fallon from GoNootropics.com. Coming at you with the black coffee. Cheers. Good to see all of you rolling through. We are sipping on the Don Francisco Family Reserve, right? Nothing but the best. Thank you for coming through. <laughs> Checking this video out in the final days as I clear this place out. We're embarking. We're leaving on this trip, right? And just clearing stuff out. So, you know, it's kind of like moving. You just got to go through your whole place and clear shit out. I toyed with the idea of just dumping everything in the dumpster because it's like, do I want to spend the time selling all this stuff? You know, I've sold off a lot of my studio stuff, as you know. Uh, I usually have like studio lights and a studio setup. I'm keeping a lot of that stuff, but I'm selling the lights. I, so I sold the lights. <clears throat> I'm going through everything to figure out what stuff just should I just dump into the dumpster? What stuff should I sell? And then I'm thinking, you know what? It's like you're leaving. Aren't you leaving a lot of money on the table? <laughs> just throwing it all in the dumpster. I would love nothing more than just to throw this stuff away. I don't want to deal with with the people. I don't want to deal with making the listings. I don't want to I don't want somebody coming over. I don't want to talk to this person, right? But I ended up, you know, I ended up listing all the stuff I own on Facebook Marketplace. So for the past few days, I've been putting stuff up <clears throat> you know, meeting people, meeting, you know, people coming over to the house and, and buying stuff and, you know, jewing me down like $5. It's like I've, I'm listing something for $75. they are like, will you take, you know, will you take 15 bucks for it? You know, it, it's like a colossal waste of time dealing with a lot of these people, you know, even... <laughs> Even one guy, I had something listed for 80. The guy is like, well, but would you take 75? It's like anything just to just to get you down, even a dollar, you know, <laughs> even a dollar. It's like just pay the asking price, you know, but I guess that's the name of the game. It's like you, you haggle, right? I mean, if, if I need something and it's like a reasonable price, it's like my studio lights, 75 bucks. Uh, I bought those for like 200. They still list for like 175. Like if, if I saw some guy selling those lights for 75 bucks, I'll give him the 75. Why am I going to? It's so annoying to have somebody like drill you down just by $5. And I'm just, you know, I guess it's worth the guy saving the five bucks. I don't know. I would just pay the 75 but you know people these days it's like any even if they could save a dollar they'll they'll take the time to save the dollar which for me it's like just pay the money get the thing and and it's over with once again I just wanted to dump all this stuff in the dumpster and then I was thinking you know what just you gotta sell it so I I had some guy here in California who bought the studio lights some young kid you know, he, he had to drill me down. He's like, it's 75, but will you take 70? I said, all right. He's like 20 years old. He, he wants, he's going into film, right? He, he, he wants to make movies. He's in like the slowest moving town in the world. I was talking to this kid. I'm like, you're, if you want to make movies, you're in the wrong place. This is why I'm getting out of here. There's nothing going on in this sleepy town. And this kid was, he was sleepy, man. He seemed like he had an underactive thyroid or something. It was like very slow to respond. You know, I'm, I'm holding the lights there. And he's just kind of staring at them, not saying anything. I'm like, after like 10 seconds of silence, I said, well, do you want to take a look? Uh, you want me to open up the, the, 
the box, the lights. I put them in the box that they came with. He's like, sure, man. Just slow moving. I'm like, if you want to make movies, you got to... <laughs> You gotta get out of this town. So he gave me seventy. I listed them at seventy-five. It's like you know, any anything to save a, even a dollar with the, some of these guys. Uh, the, I was selling something else for thirty bucks. What was it? What was I selling for thirty bucks? I was selling something for thirty bucks. Speakers, uh, speakers like studio monitors. I had a pair of studio monitors. Uh, Mackie studio monitors kind of nice monitors that retail for like I think like 140 150 still to this day nice studio monitors and so I, I'm selling them for 30 which is a good deal the guy comes and get, barely speaks English and he's like I only got 25 and then, of course, he has to launch into the, the justification of why he's only got 25. Well, he had 30, but he had to do laundry. And so he's opening up the back of his car to show me all the laundry he had to do. And this is why he only had 25, even though I, I said $30. And I'm like, you know, fuck it. Just take it, man. Just give me the money. Whatever. I was going to put all this stuff in the dumpster anyway, but... It's like so pathetic, man. So pathetic, these people and having to deal with like e even these people, they'll just they want to save even a dollar if they can. <laughs> it's just I think next time I'm just going to throw everything in the dumpster or just set it out in front of the dumpster. Anybody who wants it, just come and take it. I don't want to hear your whole life story and why you don't have, you only have 25, you don't have the full 30. So, <laughs> and of course, some stuff is not selling, so I'll have to drop the price on some of this stuff. And the rest will, of course, I'll just put in the dumpster, which is, you know, what I wanted to do in the first place. So anyway, we are keeping the train rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you all are doing good. We're still going strong on the no no Kratom, no nicotine. You know, and, and it's it's been rough. It's it's been, you know, stressful having to get rid of all this stuff and it's stressful making changes and in these times you do want to reach for the Kraken, don't you? Don't you want to reach for the Kratom? At least I do when I'm overwhelmed with stress and dealing with these idiots. Uh, it would be nice to crack, you know. It would be nice to have a little dose or just a little something to wet the old whistle. But we're just, we're just keeping the train rolling, powering through. No kratom, no nicotine. Just kind of sipping on the coffee and the nootropics that I got here at the house. And it's, you know, it's it's been going pretty good. Uh, once again, like I mentioned in that last video, just always remembering what the thing did to you. Always remembering what the Kratom did to you, how terrible you felt. And how, you know, you, you got so much more energy when, you, when you're when you off of the Kratom. Like if I was taking Kratom, honestly, all this stuff probably would be in the dumpster. Like I wouldn't have the energy to deal with these idiots. I just wouldn't. I barely have the energy to deal with them now, you know, listing all this stuff on Facebook. Uh, I certainly wouldn't have the energy if I was taking 20, 30, 40 grams of Kratom every day. I'd just put it in the dumpster and be done with it, you know. So, yeah, there's more energy here to do things and to get things done and to have the motivation to just try to push the needle forward because, you know... So what we got to do today, we got to push the needle forward. Uh, I gave myself a haircut, you know, I just, I, I had the energy to do it. I said, fuck it, you know, I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm going to go pay $50 for a haircut these days, you know. I don't know how much a haircut where you guys live is, but <laughs> here, here you're talking 40 50 dollars you know with the tip included and all that i'm like i'm just gonna cut up myself so i took the shears i took the scissors and i just you know i i cut the hair i cut my own hair which you know you guys maybe you guys let me know how it turned out <laughs> there's some spots where it's kind of 
you know, I need to go back and touch it up. But the point is I had the energy to at least try to figure it out. You know, I've heard for the longest time, isn't that what you've heard? You can't cut your own hair. It's hard, hard to cut your own hair. Well, I tried and you know, once you have the energy, once the energy comes back, you just try new things and you figure it out. But if you're like low energy and somebody tells you that you can't do something, well, you just kind of accept that as the answer because there's no energy to do anything about it, right? So with more energy in the tank, you keep the needle moving forward. You keep the train rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, Fallon, GoNootropics.com. As always, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I will see you very soon. Peace. Woo!